Last week I began a round of employee brown bags to discuss the tri Trivet five year plan. Oh, the five year What plan. I've been calling the more and better plan. The more and better plan. <laughs> Don't worry about that guy, Jeff. He's okay. As part of my introduction, I outlined a number of threats facing crime, a number of threats. This is going to be some speed. of our control. Yeah. These threats be. really are a list of the many budget uncertainties we face. First, there is the economy as a whole. Oh, yeah. Hurting you, I shouldn't you. Uh, it doesn't take an ex economic expert to know that the economy is not rebounding <laughs> as it should. Right, you know. That's why we're building everywhere. We're building rail. We're building. As you know, unemployment affects our bottom line. Generally, it's your payroll. It doesn't take a governmental affairs expert to know that Congress is in turmoil and that places our federal funding in jeopardy. Uh oh. Add to this the rising cost in fuel right. and health care. Fuel. And what and and ha and you have what I believe is a pending crisis. Yeah. We also have the uncertainty surrounding our labor contract. These are these items Ooh. add to our financial stress. I am an optimist by nature. Ooh. And a problem solver by profession. How do you like that one, Russ? I'm a problem solver. You're a builder by profession. <laughs> 20 grand a month. I believe most TriMet employees are. This means that we all want to believe that there are better times ahead. My more and better plan. This is Neil's. My more and better plan. What's he going to do? Just sit there? Uh, my more and better plan describes those future times. However, we must first deal with the challenges of today. We must accept the fact that the worst case scenarios can play out. These worst case scenarios would be more service cuts and more layoffs. Okay, I say in the brown bags, I didn't sign on to be general manager to dismantle the system, and I pledge to do all I can to ensure that doesn't happen. I'm sure it'll be the bus that gets dismantled first. Oh, it already is. Uh, I, I suggest focusing on three key, key areas. Customer needs, financial stability, and building per partnerships for transit growth. Although I think of these three equally important, one must happen before the others can be fully realized, and that is securing financial stability. It is the one that determines if this agency moves ahead. I also can't emphasize enough how serious this is. I have looked at the numbers. It is serious because we have already made numerous cuts in the past 10 years. Our community has felt pain. Our, you can't, our, our community has felt the pain. Our riders have felt the pain. I'm doing the same thing. He's got it. Anyway, and our employees have felt the pain. I can lead, but I need your help if we are to have any success at all. I ask each of you to do your part. Come to work every day and give your all. Qual quality does not have to suffer, no matter what level of service we provide. Look at how you do your work and find ways to do it smarter, faster, better. Speak up when you have ideas for improvement. Trimet employees have continually risen to the occasion, celebrating our triumphs and, and feed, finding solutions to our challenges. Luckily, we have much more to celebrate. But now we focus on finding solutions to our challenges. So yeah, 